Hi, and thank you for watching. On today's show, we got two new Alpine models, the CDE 164 BT and the CDE W265 BT. They do a three-way crossover mode. We're gonna show you how it works, how to set it up, and what you might wanna use it for. Stay tuned. Okay, so we got the W265 hooked up right now. And this, like you said, is gonna be the same for the 164 BT. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you the network mode or the three-way mode. What does that mean? We're gonna show you how it works. That's not what I meant. Two-way mode is front rear sub. Okay. Three-way mode would be... Two-way? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Three-way mode would be tweeter, mid-range, and subwoofer. Yeah, I know, okay. right? I'm confusing the heck out of you which is understandable because sound quality is something that a lot of people have forgotten all about. And these radios are centered on that. So I'll tell you what, let's just get to the demo and we'll save it till the end, okay? okay. All right, here we go. So they varied how to do it in, for one in the owner's manual and also in the unit itself. You have to press two buttons, the phone button and the music button, and you have to press them at the same time. So what we'll do is we'll do that. Of course, you might have to do it more than once. It's working so well. There we go. Ah, all right. So, you're not going to accidentally turn that on. And you'll notice right now it says audio setup system two way. It shows two speakers. Turn the dial here, and now you'll notice it's got three what they're considering speakers as well as audio system three way. Okay, go ahead and click enter. And now you'll see low, mid-low, mid-high, and high. Now these are going to be your crossover points. We'll go into the mid-low. All right. So now you'll be able to select your frequency as well as your slope and level control. All right. So what does all that mean? This is going to be on, on a mid-range. You don't want it to play treble as well as you don't want it to play bass. So you need what's considered a high pass and a low pass crossover uh, or a band pass so that you can take the tweeter out as well as the sub out. So this allows you to do this. This is what makes this so unique. So you can go in and pick your frequency. All right, so this is gonna be your low pass. All right, so we'll just say we don't want it to play anywhere below 125 hertz. Now the slope is gonna be how much of the, how much of the signal is gonna be blocked out, so to speak. Uh, that's a real generic way to say that, but you have two choices. You have six, and you have 12, and you have flat, so three choices. 12 is gonna give you the most effects. Six is gonna give you the least as compared to flat, which will give you none. So we'll leave it at 12. That is the most common. And we'll pick back. And then volume. It's a negative, so what that'll allow you to do is if for some reason the mid-range is just killing it, you can turn it down. All right, and we'll go back, and we'll go back one more. And now we can pick the mid high. This is going to block. This is how how much treble do we? How high do we want it to play up? So we've got a pretty decent tweeter. So let's say we only want it to play up to 6.3 thousand. Hit enter. We'll do the same. In this case, we don't want it to to be quite as steep. Six will probably be better. We'll hit enter. Now this is all hypothetical, and then we can adjust the level again. All right. So then, of course, you can repeat this for the tweeter as well as the mid-range. Now you're asking yourself, you're saying, why would I ever use this? Well, there's a big insurgence right now with just a basic three-way set where people are buying a nice set of tweeters, a nice set of mid-range, and putting a, an amp on, let's say, a sub, you know, like a 10 or a 12 in the back with no rear fill. With this particular system, you can do that without going crazy and breaking the bank. The unit has time correction, so you can get a real nice center image as well as the volume controls that allow you to turn up and down mainly down the tweeter or the mid-range so that you get a nice blend of the two together this will allow you to use the 50 watts by four in it to power those tweeters and those mid-range awesome i know right i don't know uh, so me out there, you know, this will be cool and this will be what you want. You can also use the preamp level to do the same thing. So you don't have to use the 50 watts before. It actually does it for both. Front is tweeter, mid, uh, rear is mid, sub is sub. Hot damn, right? I know. So cool. Yeah. 
All right, if you want a full list of their crossover points and all that good stuff, you can go to their website and go to their owner's manual section and they do list it there. Or if you already own the unit, it's on that cool little disc that the unit came with. Pretty hot. I know, right? Okay, well, we hope this helps. We hope this answers some of those burning questions you have. If not, I'm sure you'll tell us all about it. If you do have questions, though, please feel free to add them into the comments and we'll get back to you. No kidding. We do this twice a week. Yeah, it's just insane therapy. Where can they find us? Uh, Facebook. Instagram. Or YouTube. <laughs> Alright guys, have a good night and we'll see you next time. Jesus Christ. Hi, and thank you for watching.